What is up, y'all? Sean here, Fairweather Cards. Welcome back. It is card show day. Uh, let's go inside, take a look. Now, if you've seen my videos before, this is my local show out here in West Central Nebraska. It's a smaller show, being that we're in Nebraska, you're going to see a lot of Huskers. But just because it's a smaller show doesn't mean that you can't find a lot of good deals. And be sure to stick around, you'll see what I got here at the end of the video. I will tell you that I got some a couple oddball cards and uh, a couple bangers you want to see. Now if you just saw, there was a Hulk Hogan autograph. I tried to make a deal on that, but the dealer wouldn't budge, so maybe next time. You can see in this showcase a lot of uh, vintage football cards. A really nice one, nice Archie Manning rookie. There's a Montana rookie. Sorry about the glare, y'all. Nothing I can do about it. But a mix between some really good vintage and of course, you know, the new stars are in the stars of today. So uh, plenty of boxes to uh, file through to find your favorite player. Uh, you're always going to see those at card shows. Now here's one of my favorite cases. It is the baseball case. And I don't know, do you see any cards in there that you would want? Uh, you know, I certainly uh, saw a couple that I would love to add to my collection. We'll see if I did. So, yeah, a lot of good baseball rookies in there. Here's some more vintage baseball mixed in with some of the current players. Ozzy Smith rookie up there. Nice Robin Yap, Mickey Mantle. With some each rose, Ted Williams, Warren Spawn. You see it. Uh, nice 69, oh my, wouldn't mind adding that one to my collection. And then we get into some basketball here. Uh, you know, I don't do much with basketball, but I did pick up a basketball card uh, this at this show. Uh, there is a, a kid who does sell some Pokemon with his dad. His dad, I love looking at the old Beckett's that he brings through. Not seen there, but there was the Bo Jackson one. And of course, that Michael Jordan. And here's some special cards in here. Uh, mixed in with uh, some others. Uh, there's several blank spots and that's because I did pick up a couple cards. And again, two are kind of oddball, but I think you're gonna like them. So be sure to stick around. A lot of graded here. I did pick up one graded card at this show. And uh, you know, I've dealt with this guy before. He's a great dealer, really nice guy. In fact, I picked up a flawless uh, Larry bird auto from him at the last show so you had to go say hi to, to him and here's the next table uh again stacks of different you know stars of today mixed in with some vintage and you know there's a bunch of different players um you know all throughout and again stacks of different cards love these mosaic autographs and i did pick up a few of those and then there is some wax or or packs to open up i'm old school so i still call it wax and then finally the show promoter here um you know you've seen his stuff many times before of course there's going to be a lot of huskers being that we are here in west central nebraska uh you know i don't add any husker well i did i guess on this uh this time i did buy a huskers card but anyways uh nice aaron Rodgers auto there right in the middle uh some patches some autos and then here's some vintage mixed in uh of basketball and football with baseball uh not shown there but i did pick up a spectacular vintage card that i will highlight uh here coming up shortly uh, it goes to my 56 top set i'll give you a little hint there and then uh, you got some new uh basketball baseball these are the the recent rookies that are making uh waves in their respective sports and then again some more cards here nice drysdale rookie already have one of those but uh and man, that would be cool to have another one. And, you know, flipping through, there's a Trout, Shohei, uh, you name it. You know, all the stars of today are in these cases. Still looking for a nice Clayton Kershaw Tops update, Ricky. Uh, I should have bought it back in the day, um, but unfortunately, couldn't find one. And finally, here's a football case. Nice Brady and Rogers rookie there back to back. Uh, you can see a Marino rookie kind of hanging up top there. Kelsey rookie. Uh, you know, Chiefs tend to do pretty well out here in western Nebraska. Anyways, uh, let's uh, go see what I got. Hope you enjoyed it. 
All right, hey everybody, back from the card show, and uh, let's take a look at what I got. I guess starting first, we'll kind of highlight these comic books here, and I won't go through each of them. But uh, you know, I back in the day, I used to read the GI Joe comics, and it was fun. I used to hang them up on my wall in, in bags, uh, almost like kind of like a comic book shop. But anyways, I've been looking to possibly complete the run, and one of the dealers knows that I like the comics, so he he brought a bunch. I ended up picking up oh, probably about 12 different G.I. Joe comics from him. Uh, this comic book is pretty special if you like G.I. Joe or if you uh, played back in the day, back in the mid-80s uh, with G.I. Joe. Uh, it's the first appearance of this guy, uh, Storm Shadow, who is the Cobra Ninja. So anyways, you know, I still have a few of my Joes from back in the day. But uh, yeah, was really excited to get those comic books. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the cards that I got. Uh, a good mixture of just a lot of different unique stuff. So starting first, uh, Mookie Betts Rookie Card 2014 Extended, or excuse me, Update Series. I had sold this card, uh, had one once before, and sold it when he was really, really popular and selling high, and uh, got it back for cheap. So that's a win on my part. I uh, like this card, and it's a cheap one, but you know you got Mantle, Maris, uh, Lemon, and uh, Rocky on there. So this is the American League uh, 1960 home run leaders. Uh, so I just thought that was a pretty cool card. Cheap Mantle. Uh, these next two cards, I doubt it. Who I don't know. I, uh, they just they're just so cool. So this is out of uh, Topps American Pie, and uh, it has course john f kennedy uh and uh there's pieces of the berlin wall i just thought that was kind of neat and the price was right so i picked it up uh very I, I don't know about this one this i just thought was so cool so president uh, reagan uh you know he, he was born in illinois and a big cubs fan now this is the tops chrome version and here's a piece of a wrigley field seat but uh, I just thought that was spectacular. And I haven't seen many of these come up for sale. In fact, uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this one. So uh, the price was, was definitely right. And I, I bought it. Uh, just kind of kind of an oddball thing. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr. Certainly, uh, I don't think he gets enough love. He's just a spectacular ball player. So these were two rookies that I did not have of, of Bobby Witt Jr. Man, he's fast and he can hit. And then I liked this one. This is a slabbed a PSA 9, and I thought I got a good deal on it. Uh, Tops Chrome, and uh, I guess this is Youthquake. So just thought, kind of a neat card. You know, why not? Um, picked up a few Yarmir Yager rookies. Dirt cheap, nothing special there. And here is... Um, a bas the only basketball card I picked up, but uh, having a wonderful year, wonderful year. So uh, just thought, why not? Uh, next group of cards here, these were great price, and they're just so cool in my opinion. Uh, so you have autos, and this is from all from Mosaic, but Will, Sh Will Shields, uh, Mr. Swilling, Don Beebe, Willie Galt, and Andre Reed, Mr. Irving Fryer, uh, that's John Taylor there, Kilbert Brown, Dwight Franey, Court Warner, and Tony Mandrich. So, you know, these were, were cheap, so I picked up the lot, made an offer, and were able to get them. Last two cards, saving the best for last. I'm just so stoked to own this card. Now, uh, this card does have um, a crease that goes up toward Mr. Koufax's ear and then there's an issue down here unfortunately on the card but it's well centered it presents beautifully and you know, I just I'm tickled to have this white back from 56 tops second year of uh, Sandy Koufax uh, I actually I like this card a little more than I like the rookie card but that's just my personal opinion uh, just a beautiful card in my opinion and finally you know so I go into these shows and never know what I'm going to find or, or get and uh, this card certainly intrigued me. Um, it's Leaf, and I really am not a big Leaf fan anymore. 
And this is the very first booklet. Well, I shouldn't say first. I've had a few others, but you know, I'm not a fan of booklets, but the price was definitely right. And uh, it has Mr. Tyson's autograph in that. And I just thought that was spectacular. So, uh, yeah, um, I just, I couldn't pass it up. I was going to start to walk away and then just thought, I can't pass this up. So anyways, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along with the card show and we'll see you on the next one. Uh, y'all take care out there. <laughs>